Hello everyone, I'm Zyphine, the owner of the UEBot. I am making this video today to show you how to properly set her up and to completely set her up. A lot of people were having questions on how to run everything and with this I feel like I will be better able to help you all out with all of that other stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Discord server and make sure you have one. If not, you can scroll all the way down on your Discord server list and then click on the plus icon. FYI, I know I have a lot of tabs, a lot of programs, and a lot of servers open right now. Just bear with me for this. So once you create your Discord, you're going to want to have um, at least three roles. You're going to want to, in order to create the roles, go to server settings and then roles. You're going to want to have a user role, capital U, lowercase s e r. You have to, this is one of the main roles and the most important roles. And I personally like to display role members separately from online members. That way you can see who has accepted the roles and who has not. And that's exactly what this role is for. If you don't wish to use the accept um, command, then you don't have to, you can skip this step. The next role is the UE bot role. Once again, I like to have her separate and uh, make sure you have her as an administrator. That's a huge, huge step. And then also have a st uh, staff section. This is used for the log command. So once you have all those three set up, you can, or you then need to have at least the following, an announcements, uh, general, a log, introduction, um, and bot command. Now, if you wish to have the accept command working, then you're going to want to have a rule section. And the rule section um, needs to be uh, open. The rest of your server has to be um, privatized. And you can do that by either clicking on the plus icon next to the uh, text channels and then make a private channel. And then from there, making it so you have to be at least a user in order to um to see it or if it's pre-existing you click edit channel permissions and then under at everyone you click read messages and then have it marked no then you make a user section and then have it read yes and then this way if a new user accepts the rules by clicking exclamation point accept they can then see the rest of the channel. I will show you all how it, it uh, looks exactly in a second. And then next, what you're going to want to do is have an introduction section. And for the introduction section, you're going to want to open that up and then type in exclamation point join. And then from there, it'll say this channel is now set. And then after that, it will go away eventually, just like so. And then you're going to want to do a log. And then from the log, you're going to want to do almost the exact same thing, an exclamation point log. And this will display every time a user logs off. And then general, or your main cha uh, chat channel, you're going to want to do exclamation point main. Unfortunately, this is coded right now, so it's it doesn't automatically delete. So you can either keep it or you can manually delete it. It doesn't really matter regardless. And then bot commands, you're going to want to do exclamation point limit. And this is for several different commands that use uh, any time or limits on it. It'll display there versus in, in a random channel, such as your main channel. And then once you have all those commands set up, you can then... Uh, I'm going to show you all exactly how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and create an invite. Copy that and then open up my second account and then join server and then join that. And now you can, or we can see right here, welcome to UE test and then my second account. And that's what, that's the name of my server and it'll be different for everyone's servers. And if you can tell on the second account, the only thing you have available is rules. So with the rules, it says don't do bad stuff and then type exclamation point accept to read the rest of the server. So I'm going to go exclamation point accept. It'll automatically delete and if you can tell everything else just got opened up and is available. You can also see 
everyone online and you can see all the other stuff that happens as well as you know me leaving and now if I decide you know this isn't the server for me and I leave it'll show up for log and I recommend personally having the log set up so users can't see it everyone can't see it but staff can because it'll be kind of dis uh, discouraging for other members to see how many people leave if people leave and now we can see that um my second account has left the server. And the reason why there's text right here is especially if you're on the mobile, for some reason it messes up and it says at invalid user. And with, with this text, if you do actually want to document who leaves, what accounts, etc., you can still see it without it being tagged. Um, this is useful for various things. I have a few uh, promotion servers and whenever someone leaves, I delete all their promotions. That way it, it makes people it gives them more incentive on to st like what to stay and with all that you're pretty much uh, set to go if you want to see if there's any new commands or anything I normally go into the staff and then you can do um, exclamation point main which you can also do when whoops not exclamation point main that goes into the general I meant to do exclamation point help and then help will bring up all the commands you have available including the exclamation point admin command which if you enter will send you a private message from Yui herself and then from there you can read all the commands available and what all they do you can warn a user I'll show you all that right now so let's say this person joins back and he didn't like the server and uh, he wants to sp you know spam the uh, the rules section well with that you can either warn him and then you tag them don't spam and then what you see now is you just send him a message and it says don't spam so whatever message you send in the warn command will the bot will message them directly So there's there's very uh, lots of stuff you can do with UE. Um, all the commands I'm not gonna go through all of them right now. I just wanted to show you how to set her up. Um, the very basics on to get her like fully functional, fully functional for your server. Everything else you can use under your own free will. There's a coin system. If you go under the bot commands, you can type in coin. Whoops, coins, and then you can see how many coins you have. And there's commands right now to remove 50 coins and um, you tag the person and then what that does is it removes coins from them and you can use that for various different things so if you want you can be like um, you can open up your own shop once again make sure you have it privatized for users only type in shop and then you can make it so uh, for 50 coins you get a green name and then that way if if uh, this person uh, the second account ends up talking and getting 50 coins he can then go into the shop or PMU or whatever you have set up on your own personal server and that you can do like I wish to have a green name and then show the coins commands to show how much you have hypothetically if they had 50 coins you can do remove coins 50 and then bam right now he has negative 44 coins but I'm just showing you you know for example and then you can make him you know a green name if that's what you had for the shop you also have the prune command you do exclamation point prune and then a number I highly recommend not doing anything more than 10 because sometimes it can break and you won't you might not be able to use it for a, an extended period of time anyway guys I hope that helps with everything if you all have any more questions or anything like that um, just simply comment below and all you have to do is you you just go to this discord uh, link it'll be in the description below and then you click invite and it'll be super helpful to also click vote and vote on her you can do so every 12 hours so if y'all want to keep doing it it helps out a lot and it also helps showcase UE to everyone thank y'all so much for watching and I hope this is helpful y'all have a great day